is the constituency youth organizer for Wasi West. He's the host youth organizer, so we need to hear something from him. Honorable Frederick Adam is also here from Wasi West. Ade, Ade, is also here. Viva you! Aha! And then, Honorable Ankoma Kwesi. Aha! And then, how much do we see? I'm also coming. Our own Isaka Mohammed is also here. Please let him do it. He's a treasure for the constituents. I do. Hey, Zoo! Oh, yeah, Miss Zoo! Please, if you are here, let's give it to you. Ah, oh, that's all. That's all. F1, Medegubu. Who's each and everyone here? I have had issues. With our, uh, with our previous programs. Please, if you come, let us know that you are around. It gives me a lot of pleasure. Because not long ago, I was like you. In fact, I'm still a member of the team because I'm still pursuing a master's program. Please. He says I'm the secretary of the team at CSUC. Thank you for reminding me. Hello. Um, Please forgive me all the calls yeah. of that. There is not a tire in the history of Ghana that the country needs intellectuals to rise up. That the country needs pay to rise up like now. Because our country unfortunately is heading in the wrong direction under the current leadership. And that is why every one of us should make it our personal responsibility, yeah, especially as members of day, to do whatever we can to rescue our from this super incompetent government. Just know, yeah. Our country is begging us. So please, if you decide to join pay, this is the best time. And your country needs you now. Like my brother said, first things first, make sure you belong to NDC, you are a member of NDC. And by our constitution, you can only call the law a member if you belong to a branch. And you do. So wherever your polling station is, where you put, please go there. If your name is not already in our post as a member of NDC, go and get your name in there. The registration exercise for new members starts on the 21st of this month and it runs till 7 June. Please make it a point to get your name in there. That's the first step. Second, be very active, be very vocal, be very visible. There's a lot you can do for the party. Make sure you are abreast with whatever is happening in the country and our track record especially because. NDC has contributed to this party more than any other party in our history. Our track record cannot be beaten no matter where you're looking at, whether it's education, whether it's health, every sector of the economy of the country we stand for. So make sure you get yourself impressed with all our records and make sure you are defending us wherever you get the opportunity. Especially in the country we need, you get MVP throwing a lot of mud and dust around. They spew a lot of falsehood and we need to set the record straight. So comrades, please and please and please, our country needs us. Let's stand up and be counted. And I know if we do our best with hard work and God's grace and favor on us, 2024, we are going to win the elections with John Ramani Mahama leading us. In 2025, we start a campaign that will rescue this country from the low drug traffic man and so on. Thank you very much. We are immediately past our second candidate for Odo to breathe. Let me take this opportunity to also introduce some former parliamentary candidates who are here in our midst. And so, for the man who just spoke, you know him. He's from Odo Dubri. Next to him is 
Comrade Abadisamo. Comrade Abadisamo is the NDC's leading past parliamentary candidate for the Opposition. Please give him a big round of applause. Yes, sir. 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 Our members of parliament present, former government appointees, former parliamentary candidates, all protocols observed. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to use this opportunity to thank you all for coming. Political analysts and so many are predicting data for the new Patriotic Party come 2024 elections. If the current companies remain the same, looking at the city depreciation, high unemployment rates, lack of infrastructure development, inflation, overtaxation, and the worst of it is corruption. This government has really filled the good people of this country. The good people of this country are looking up to the NDC to rescue this country from the high economic hardship, mismanagement, and the incompetence display of Nana Bidakwa Kupado and Baoya. Let me make this clear. Whoever becomes the running mate or flag bearer of the new patriotic party, they will still lose 2024 elections. During the 2008 elections, the LPP nearly broke the gate. It took the NDC runoff to be able to win that election. Going into the 2024 elections, the NDP are planning to rape and break the gate. Ghanaian workers are very excited and subsequent now. However, we can't afford to be complacent or stand aloof. So today, the 14th May 2022, we are indicting you as leaders of day. The party will be tapping into your human resource to mobilize the youth to win election 2024. You are being surrounded by six constituencies, opposites, opposite West, Acropro, and Dubiasi, Aswa, and Fominam. Reach out to various constituencies, and I'm very sure they will assign you to various roles to play for the party. I'm happy we have some of our parliamentary members here, and uh, I know our national executives and regional executives are also here. We will collaborate with the regional, we will collaborate with the team leadership and the party leadership to absorb most of you after your study. NDC is a party that creates opportunity for the youth, myself and many others. Who doesn't want to become the next Don Ramani and Mama here? NDC has given platform to most of us. NDC has made us who we are today. Before I conclude, I want to send a very strong warning to Nana Dodakwa Akupa that 2024 elections, Nana Dodakwa Akupa is responsible to hand over a very peaceful country come 7th December. As Dr. Mari Mama did for him in 2016. Otherwise, the NDC will advise themselves. Government, we can't afford to disappoint the good people of this country. We have to appear more united to be able to win 2024 elections. Thank you. The next to speak is also a former parliamentary candidate for this constituency, the Wasa West constituency. Madam Postina,
question. Of what it has been a supportive constituency to our great party NPC in being a stronghold of NPP. For the past decades, the party has been doing extremely well and gradually the NPC is getting ground here, looking at our performance in terms of votes during the last ended election. In fact, it was extremely positive because our opponents even voted second blouse, which is unusual of them. Although people still have the perception that the NBC cannot win the presidential and the parliamentary elections in Oguasi, but I bet you that if you train hands in unity and in consistent effort, inshallah, we will win. We all know the NPC has intelligent young men and women who are very good in research communication, organization, mobilization, and all that it takes to preach the gospel of the NPC and the world. It is a do or die, boots for boots affair, so let's not sit for our capabilities. Okay. 
Okay, so as I said, she will be leaving because there are other programs she has to attend to. We thank you very much for passing through, madam. Ayesu? 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 And so we have two other parliamentary candidates to go. The parliamentary candidate for for Mena is here, Madam Christiana Amara. So let's give it to her as she comes. Ayesu!
the brain behind the why they are sitting here today and having pain in your voice is the brain behind everything. And I know that the opportunity comes, you will make the documents to prove to everybody that uh, we are here today because of the brains of the NGC. My colleague, if you are here today and you are here of the NGC, you should be proud of yourself. It is saying the NGC that gives opportunity for all, irrespective of your class in the society. We don't matter whether you are a man, a he, a sanctuary or whatever. We don't matter whether you are rich or poor. We respect all human beings as one. Well. That is why we are called a social democratic congress. A national democratic congress. And we are social innovators. So when I met your chairman and some executives the last time, I told them that they should not in any other way, take the back against the NDC. Because if you let them, the NDC will reward them according. I am a living testimony at my age. I am not rich, I am from a poor family. But because I said the NDC from branch, from senior high school, I worked a good day then in 2008. From there, the party gave me the opportunity. To be the branch secretary of that branch where I rose. And I became the professional secretary for the constituency. They gave me the opportunity again to become the organizer. I became presiding member for the district. And now I am the former parliamentary candidate for the constituency as well as secretary of my If I were to be in the other side, maybe that branch of police president chairman. I would have been qualified to be a police station chairman. So if you are NDC today, you are in the right party. Everyone knows what's going to power. If you are in this or any other party of federation, you are right in position. So the future is not good for you. But if you are here today, and you are NDC, and you know that by the time you come to this school, your party will be in power. There is a chance that right after school, you are going to get job and you do your and go back to your family who will soon get you or who pays for the school fee to also give them something for them to benefit for the school. So I'm encouraging everybody here that we be a paradise to the NDC. Let's go out and be ambassadors for the NDC. Tell your brother or your sister, your colleague. That the NDC is the party we need to join. And without the NDC, there is no future for this country. We pray our support as a constituency group for seven. Each and every day that we need our support, just for us, we will be around to offer you the level that we have. Sometimes we will come and visit you at your various offices and make sure that for the NDC, we support our partner, His Excellency John Ramani Amara, to be part of our country to the court. And you see who? So we will be very proud of NDC. Wherever you go, don't mind your political identity. We are better than them. In everything of all the sectors of the economy, they don't matter anywhere. It is only their mouth. But real love, we are better than them in everything. Now we can make you talk about the relations. They are now of the money you are now with them. And they are not mentioning the relations, they run to Russia, they run to Ukraine. But they say that they are not yet in the castle. And they come here to write the money now. So ladies and gentlemen, let us be part of our party and let's work hard to get the party back to power because you and I are going to benefit if the NBC come back to us. Thank you very much.
a brief general acceptance speech. Then we start the formal session. Please give it to him as he can. Come on. Good afternoon and thank you to each one of you gathered here. On my own behalf and my colleagues executives and the team executives and the members who we welcome everybody here to this occasion. It is a great honor for me to invite you to chair this occasion. So, would not much to see our egg all the communities gathered here to support me in ensuring this function comes to a successful end. The team is an institution of youth way and would urge them to look far as far as the party activity is concerned. You support the when you face the executives, especially the youth organizer, to help in developing good research events so the party can have a better future. Each state member here should please make him or herself be seen and heard because you are the youth wing for the party today, but we see you as the leaders for the party tomorrow. We would also thank those who have come from afar that we don't know to help us carry out this fancy to a successful end. On this note, I will thank each and every one of you here and I welcome you all to this occasion. Thank you very much. Oh, let's give it to you, let's give it to you. Very welcome. We are talking about social media. 
moving from one household to the other, relating to the people, and at some point you are able to take the Madina city, and you will win the city for a Because that is what the people need. Sometimes you don't have money, it's about making yourself available. Pay you too, and you dance it at first. Come on, at this venture, let me introduce you a member of parliament, lawyer, Zambian, We appreciate for coming, for the time you for you. The, the last time you were the best at Western College of Education. A very powerful youth from this region. We are proud to have you as an early family of this region, especially with this age. It's a motivation to all of us. It's an enemy for the good people of New York. They are very presentable. They are nice. In fact, they are beautiful. And so, I've seen a lot of things in the movie.
that uh, both of these are very best program and your person now comes with a student population of 1,800 we still got this number of students present in this auditorium to open to open this means that the PRST of Pansy Campus is taking over. Yeah. I would really like to seize this opportunity and um, plead with all parties that are present here that the PRST of Pansy Campus is barely one year. But to organize the first program and have this turn out means that there's need to support and push the cause of the PRST of Pansy Campus further. Thank you all for coming and thank you all. Trust you me, we are going to enjoy your stay here as we continue with the subsequent uh, activities. Ayazu! Ayaza! Oyamizu! Oyamiza! Anafa! Thank you. We really appreciate your presence. Our activities are the regional youth team, combing the various council places, the various special institutions. There is one thing that we see and we can experience that the NDC has a greater future. It is therefore non negotiable that trying to do this for each and each and everyone who is going to contest being a branch the competency, region, and national. If you don't play in the principle and values of good for good, don't contest for any condition. Because the MPP and the government is not ready to reach power to the NDC on a global platform. Everywhere I go, people ask me, we will work for you people. You will win. The plans are good for you. But the question is, and I want to use this video to tell all those who have that doubt that in 2020, the NDC was hungry for power but not angry for power. But as I see today, not only are we angry for power, but we are hungry for power. And we are going to fight for power with all hunger and seriousness. And let the NDC and the NDC tell nothing that what they did. The girls that make it to 2020, the electric ship in the strategy will make the good for you. The future, the future of what you are comparing to what you are spending, if we sit down and the only thing is that the only people who make a job power is to put some rules of national security, give them the new uniform to kill people at coalition center and win power and do nothing about it. Is the AU serious about democracy in Africa? I don't think so. Because democracy means running a free and fair election. Everyone having the freedom to vote once and the result declare a test. We had an election that we were going to get a leader who was elected through a free and fair election. No one who so was killed. He came and the only thing he did capture power was to kill people around. And after today, those the security who came and caused this case, no single person has been prosecuted. No single person has been arrested. And we think that we think we are practicing democracy at the end of West Africa. Let's forget it. I want to appeal to the ECOWAS, the EAU, that if they are serious about democracy, if they want to avoid undemocratic tendencies in Africa, they should look at how elections are conducted in Africa. Because the NDC will not think one begin to shine. The NDC will not think again for the, the party from LPD to use the military and the power party security personality to kill a man. They can fight. They should be ready to kill a man because we will not be killed and we will meet them. To 
be agents of the party, send the party immediately, make sure that the right votes are counted and tabulated, and if that is done and done properly, there is no way that people will capture power. Ladies and gentlemen, let me leave the rest of the other to see. But the one year before the day, the 2016, was said the ladies are suffering, teachers are suffering, others are suffering. Today, I wish I could say so. But because we are in a dictatorship, if I say the teachers are suffering, maybe I will be arrested from here. So, join me in saying, drug drivers are enjoying, passengers are enjoying, students are enjoying, lecturers are enjoying, farmers are enjoying, fishermen are enjoying, market women are enjoying, traders are enjoying, importers are enjoying, exporters are enjoying. Nanado is enjoying, Tewa Kuzi is enjoying. Thank you. Let me be. Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon to the Honorable MPs, my former boss and brother, Joseph Jabi, and my colleague, Zuba. I've seen a lot of former parliamentary candidates here. Yeah, I think Obwasi, Omena, Olutupri, God bless you all for coming. Um, today, it's like uh, sending the wolf to go and represent the sheep. So in fact, it's a bit difficult for me. If you know the nature of our original chairman, Augustus and Andrews, we have wished so much to be here, but uh, we wish about all this to be at this program because he values this program so much. But unfortunately, uh, some of our constituency executives are also seriously grieved and as the regional chairman, he has to go there and uh, take care of them. You want to go to any program here and you encounter any difficulty, just call on me. Nothing to be able to stop taking over the campus from having that program. Nothing to be able to stop it. <laughs> the thing for the program is the mobilizing the youth, the role of the I was a parliamentary candidate in 2008 for the Sister Kawamai Proposal. And in that particular election, I don't know if most of you were in school, but I guess most of you were not in school. But if you ask Malik, Honorable uh, Susu, they will tell you. Especially those 
can all transfer your votes here, we won't appreciate it as a reason. Because if you don't transfer your votes here, We are ready to go into a contest with thieves. A 
take the next steps. Because that zeal and vigor is not seen yet. Are you Am I right? Am I right? We are all on social media, and I heard your parliamentary candidates speak about social media. I'm a communicator, and so when I come and I don't speak about social media, it means I haven't presented at all. Social media has become a powerful tool for political campaigns, whether we like it or not. Now, the last Then she tells me that on election day, remember the one when I talked to her about the 
election that is in Nakamburi, going to vote. Me that she has convinced that as a result of her beauty, I want to go and vote for MC. I'm even coming in the phone because there's no left right there. I can't even reach. How would that person go? Meanwhile, you think the door to go. You know me so. Meanwhile, you think the wrong business. They can be. You want to know how you do so long. And your constituency. So those executives in this constituency do not even know the people who have assured you of their votes. And witness how we are going to support each other, make your Mahama the president in 2024. Thank you very much. So big up for the executives of K Well done. Um, I didn't know how to talk, but that's a issue my must always Whenever you are born. 2024. 2024. A lot of our parents were talking about you. Um, as a security man, my best or my hope was that maybe the executives would give me young people as children so that we can come fight the system. As a whole, 
We have three constituencies here, and all the constituencies are represented. Apropos, Okwasi is an Okwasi West are fully represented, and uh, that's a good sign. The, the brain behind this very institution, the former MCE for Okwasi, is also around. The chairman for Kwasi, the host constituency is here. The regular youth organizer in the team are fully also represented. And that's a good sign. All other protocols observed. I just came across a news item. Which I find on the Ghana web. Project Hassel Free Essence. If we get right Hassel Free Essence, you'll see a round of us. This is the same message that His Excellency John Raman in Bahama, who started free SHS in this country, not only did he start that policy. But also building the infrastructure base of our secondary schools. 123 senior secondary schools out of the 200 promised by him for Saturday. In a Saturday, we are fortunate to have about eight of them completed. The one that is my left, including the one. It's left to the mercy of the bush. And an alarm that for a good quarrel, grass at this, that speak English better than human beings. Because they have very good conditions to set. Thanks to John Rahman and Muhammad, they have very good secondary school there. You go there, you want to see the best grass at this in the country today. Go to any of the abandoned secondary schools and an alarm that for a good quarrel, and you get them there. Yeah, the teachers are teaching them very good English. What are the kids are studying and uh, trees? John Ramani Mahama said that there are a lot of challenges to three secondary schools. So what I have, we are going to review three secondary schools. That are very three people because they attend school in heaven. So they have a different dictionary and a different understanding of three. And so the dictionary, according to the MPD, defines review as translation. And so John Ramani Mahama was seen to be coming to translate the free SHS program. And in fact, just last week, a disgraced bishop of the Methodist Church also alluded to say that what John Ramani Mahama says is going to translate the evil, definitely is going to do so. The three second I don't know where he got his budget from. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, Ghana is being polarized today, papa by the British and the FDP. Our future, our strong men and women are in danger. It is time for us to fight for our independence. The second independence of this country is being fought today. And we need to win. Then they should prepare to kill all the six people. 
you love people in 2024. I can't, you can't do that. Let us show. We need to take this country out of the hands of the oppressor. Now, 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 My brothers and sisters, we are not here to celebrate you. We are here to tell you that after your own school, as your colleagues, your seniors, who are doing the national service today, four months now before the day. Today, this government cannot pay salaries. And they have to borrow to pay salaries. Where would you be if the national government was and these people waste the next election? I ask myself, how are they going to break the eight? Was it a half song or a half? But I'm sure if we sit down, probably we'll be able to break it. Then I'm sure that we are not ready to see this government do this country again. As far as this country. And so we are here to tell you that let's join force. Let's come together. Let's move out there. Let's show our hunger that we need independence in 2024. And when we are together, when we have the force, when we have the strength, Behind His Excellency John Ramani Mahama, and we see you to the next level. Thank you very much. For now, all the programs is present. He was the best at any university. What school he came? Today he is here. Tomorrow he will go to the next level. The next level is the best university. We are just moving like.
Gracias.